Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. I got a cool little piece of information for you today. The Tactical Ops event is running on Halo Infinite right now. It's actually a lot of fun, and I'm having a surprisingly good time back on the game. I've really enjoyed the SWAT so far, and I've even been playing other playlists just for fun and to clear challenges. I don't know if you guys will like this uh, hot take, but the idea of challenges are actually growing on me. I don't mind them at this point, though I do get... If you're already SR100, it's a little bit of a waste of time. Before we get started today, I want to mention all this information was first brought to my attention by The Gaming Bricks on YouTube. That's Bricks with an X. I'll pin his channel at the end card of this video. He's actually a really great guy. I don't know how long I've been subscribed to him, but I've been really enjoying his community posts. He's clearly trying to build a group of friends on YouTube. And if you can do anything for me today, please do make sure to subscribe to his channel. So the Tactical Ops event is live right now. And funnily enough, we finally have access to an armor coating that's been in Halo Mega Constructs since like spring of 2020. Like this is pretty crazy. And now we got these three Spartans. One of them, everybody's kind of losing their minds about. It doesn't really make any sense and we don't know what to make of it so far. It's this Spartan Mark 7. But apparently Spartan Mark 7 was a type of Mjolnir that was only tested with Spartan Naomi. It just seems so strange that they're including specifically this Mark, but then there's just some red pieces here. And in this tactical event, you can unlock 10 different cosmetics totally for free over the next two weeks. And one of them is the Scorpion Punch Armor Coating, which is something that's been in Mega Constructs form for well over a year now. It came out in Halo Hero Series 12. And it's just really cool to see that something that was teased in Mega so long ago is finally getting a real release. So now that Halo Hero Series 16 has been announced, Series 12 seems like a distant, distant memory. But back then, that was the very first Halo Infinite Halo Hero series. And it was a pretty good one, um, pretty standard. Uh, six figures, the Brute Warrior was especially good. The Marine Sniper, a personal favorite. I know it is for many people. But one of them was a very cool armor coating with a red arm. And back then, everybody speculated that it was a real character in the game. They were like, who is this gonna be? And Halo Hero Series 12, along with the original Halo Infinite line, dropped before Halo Infinite was supposed to release last December. Then the game was delayed by a year, and you know, you know where we are right now. It's just really interesting to see, after all the speculation, because the community was so abuzz with this figure at first, it was also a Funko Pop, so everybody was really thinking that it was gonna be a named character in Halo Infinite, maybe on board the Infinity. It was also a surprise, because when that figure came out, it was the first first ever mention of Mark 7s. We didn't know why there was a new Mark 7 armor core, but it was really cool to see that at first. Last year, it was really interesting to see Mega Constructs actually leaking out lots of information. I mean, they weren't leaks because they were official toy images, but still like the first time that we saw a lot of the Halo Infinite designs, the aesthetics, the characters, the armors and the banished, a lot of it was at first through Mega Constructs, which I always loved. I know like the general Halo community, especially big Halo YouTubers didn't like that because they were like, oh guys, it's another Mega Constructs reveal. Being a Mega Constructs guy, it was great to be, uh, you know, in the community that was revealing new stuff. Mega is also the place sometimes to find out information early on named characters. So the names were removed due to spoilers from Halo Heroes. We did get our first appearance of Spartan Stone and Spartan Griffin in Heroes. And the, uh, the names were cut because the game was delayed by a year, but some websites accidentally listed it with the original names and it was quite funny to watch unfold and now ironically in the banished phantom and the new scorpion we're actually getting official named characters of those two so i hope you guys will jump into tactical ops and get these challenges completed the event runs for two weeks until march 22nd there are 10 different rewards and each reward is from completing one of the tactical ops challenges they're very simple like battle rifle kills mangler kills killing sprees stopping people from getting killing sprees pretty simple stuff and i actually do have a newfound love and respect for the mangler after playing a few games with it when everybody on the map has a mangler it is very fun so definitely check out tactical ops the scorpion punch armor coating is for your mark 7 and it's available as the ninth challenge to be completed out of 10 number 10 being the mark 7 mares helmet attachment which is the one that's shown off on the promotional material other cool unlockables are the mark 5 zeta helmet for your mark 7 and the emil weapon charm both very very cool 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this fun piece of information. It really is cool to see a Mega Constructs figure, particularly this one that we thought was a named character, finally making it into the game. It's fun to speculate what came first. Like clearly 343 shared the Scorpion Punch asset with Mega Constructs and Funko Pop really early in the design process. But I don't know if originally it was meant to come out with the base game or originally it was planned for tactical ops, which I guess would have come out around this time last year if the roadmap was the same. You know, there's always fun speculation. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and let me know if you're gonna be playing tactical ops, if you're enjoying SWAT being back in Halo Infinite. I know the game is a bit of a shell right now and I know there is a lot of opportunity to hate on it, but I think we just have to be patient. Let 343 do their magic and just rejoice that it is a beautiful game. It is pretty well polished and they have been patching the problems that we've had so far so let's hope that continues and tactical ops goes off without a hitch one more shout out to the gaming bricks on youtube thank you very much for tuning in today everyone you stay awesome you stay safe out there and the domain is signing off and this weapon what is this it's like uh it's got like a large drum like it could be a shotgun but it, it looks very strange it's kind of deep like a hydra launcher I have no idea what this weapon could be. Gets me excited for all the new weapons that I'm sure are gonna be making their way into Halo Infinite. And this armor looks gorgeous. I think it's very similar to Noble Six's armor. If not identical, minus the knife that he has on his chest. I'm very excited to get hold of this one.